we have learned about shielded metal arc welding in last video in shielded metal arc welding we use flux code electrode for the welding purpose flux code electrode with coating of flux usually melt with the application of heat and it will fill the weld pool or it will form a weld joint so there is a coating of slag will solidify at the upper surface of the weld joint which is helpful to protect the weld joint from the atmospheric gases and impurities so here in this video we are going to learn about slag here we are going to learn all the concepts related to slag like what is slag what is the composition of slag what is the requirement of slag in welding so these concepts we are going to learn in this video hello everyone welcome to course screen so let's learn the basic concepts of slag so here i am going to start with what is slag so slag is defined as a by product or we can also say non metallic by product which form with dissolution of flux and impurities in filler whatever filler material we are using whether it is electrode or the bare wire and atmosphere it act as a protection of weld pool from non metallic impurities which is present in the atmosphere and the filler to form a strong weld joint it is collected at the upper layer of the weld or the weld pool and when the weld solidify it can be removed with the help of various processes like grinding chipping flame cleaning or with the help of various tools like hammer to get a smooth and clean weld surface if we don't remove this slag it will make our weld surface rough and it can also form burrs slag is defined as a composition of non metallic elements with minerals which usually remove non ferrous element from the molten metal and this particular thing remove all the impurities from the weld or from the weld pool which purify the product slag is mainly appear in arc welding where flux code electrode is used like uh, shielded metal arc welding electro slag welding submerged arc welding etc slag mainly comprises deoxidation product due to chemical reaction between the surface oxide air and flux here flux is the main element which is responsible for the appearance of slag flux generate molten slag that flow freely over the weld pool and cover it entirely or cover it evenly to keep the molten pool safe from the oxidation by atmospheric gases and contamination so basically slag is an element which is helpful to improve the weld quality so to ensure a good weld quality some properties of slag must be taken into account there are some essential slag property must be taken into account to ensure good weld quality and these properties are freezing rate and surface tension so here i am going to discuss some points related to freezing rate and surface tension one more point which i will discuss here that is also responsible for good quality weld that is viscosity suppose if we are doing welding in horizontal position so slag with higher viscosity will be prefer for horizontal position welding it will not be trapped while welding and it will give a smoother weld profile and it is also easier to remove and the higher surface tension will also prevent it from flowing away and support the weld pool now if we are doing welding in vertical position so slag with lower viscosity should be prefer for vertical welding or vert vertical position of welding for better flow higher surface tension also prevent it from flowing away and support the weld pool fast freezing rate will also helpful to prevent from leaking because of higher heat during welding sometimes slag can trap within weld joint and that is mainly because of 
insufficient overlap of the work pieces which can form voids and different types of defects it can also create welding defects because of irregular profile of the work pieces or irregular surface profile of the work pieces so here the sufficient overlap of the work pieces sufficient positioning or proper positioning of the work pieces the surface profile of the work pieces should be taken into account to ensure good weld quality if we don't want to trap the slag during the welding process because if slag is going to trap during the welding process or during the welding it can create lot many problems it can create different types of defect during welding suppose if we are not removing slag after welding the layer of slag is still there we are not removing the slag with the help of chip chipping grinding or any other method or in second condition if the slag is trapped within the weld joint because of insufficient overlap or irregular profile or because of any reason in that case what will happen if we are doing welding over slag if we are doing second run of welding over the layer of slag in that case what will happen so during welding or during second layer of welding the slag is going to come in contact with the heat so with the application of heat the layer of slag will melt and slag will remain under the weld puddle and it will contaminate with the new weld and in that case what will happen so the slag will get burned during the welding and it will come in contact or it will contaminate with the new weld and it will affect the quality of weld joint so if we want a good quality weld so we need to remove the layer of slag anyhow to get a good quality weld joint so this was all about basic concepts of slag like what is slag what is the requirement of slag during welding etc so hope this information is beneficial for you for your academic purpose or for your competitive exam purpose if you like the video please press like button or if you have not subscribed the channel subscribe the channel press the bell icon and select all to get the notification about all the activities related to channel you can share this video with your friends and your known person for their benefits for getting the knowledge about welding and its related terms so thank you so much see you in next video